prices are up, rents are up, interest rates are up. To buy or to rent? That's the question today. What's up, guys? It's Jeff Bonk here from the HBB Group and EXP Realty here in Hoboken. And we have the pleasure every year to work with hundreds of buyers and renters in Hoboken and the Hudson County area. And something that's coming up now more than ever is this question of, should I rent or should I buy? My lease is up. My landlord's raising my rent. Um, I want to buy something, but interest rates are up. Like, what do I do? So I wanted to talk real quick today. This is just very high level. I'll just show a quick graphic and discuss something that maybe will jog your thought process a little bit if this is something you're considering. From here, there's much more to talk about, more specifics, more numbers, more breaking things down. But there's one high level thought that I wanted to share today that I thought it could be helpful. So I'm going to pull this, this little chart up that we put together. And just looking at the difference between buying and renting when it comes to the price you're paying and the equity you're building. And in most markets, what you'll see here is that your price you pay for rent may start a little bit lower. But over time, rental prices will go up almost always with inflation, with higher cost of living, with just overall market, more money in the system. Prices are going to go up and your equity, unfortunately, as a renter is going to stay flat. Right? A lot of people are experiencing this right now. They've been renting for a few years, had a good deal, and their prices are going up. They're jumping quite considerably, some places 20, 30, 40 percent, because the market's just on fire in our area. And landlords are you know, many times choosing to ask for an increased rent. When you look over at buying, though, your price stays flat. And a lot of times it is a little higher than where you might be able to rent that same property for. A little quick side note, maybe not today, though, in this market uh, with where rents have increased over the past few months. But sometimes it starts a little higher. But when you lock in that rate, especially if you do a 30 year fixed, even if you do a seven or 10 year arm and where your rate might move in the in the in the future right now, it's still going to stay flat for a considerable amount of time. Your equities continue to go up. You're going to be paying down your mortgage. There's likely going to be appreciation over time. That's not a straight line, but over time, we've seen the last 100 years that we've been tracking housing markets as a country. We've always seen equity go up over time and interest rates um, will fluctuate in that time period. So if anything can happen if you don't <clears throat> lock in your rate. So again, this is a super high level thought process. It's not the end all be all. The one caveat I'll make here is if you plan to only be in that property or only own that property for two or three years, this doesn't really matter because it's go, things are going to change so quickly in this small time period that if prices go up or down, you might wind up on the outside looking in on this type of equation where you might have a little dip in the market for a year or two. And if you want to sell that property, you won't have a long enough time horizon to let time be on your side and continue to go up. So if you're looking to be in that property for two, three, four years and even own that property another two, three years afterwards, we always say five, six years minimum, you should be looking to own that property. You don't believe in it but you want to rent it out, keep it as an investment. There's things that go into being a landlord. So it's something to definitely consider. But this is just a high level thought, guys. If it's something that you're on the fence, you're looking at rental prices, you're looking at mortgage rates, you're thinking about talking to a lender, you're thinking about talking to a realtor to really go deep into these numbers, feel free to reach out. Our agents are always standing by to have these conversations. We're doing it every day. It's something we love doing. It's something we intimately are involved in, taking a look at what is tax write-offs going to uh, do for you? What are principal pay down? What if there's some appreciation in the marketplace? And what about the fact that you won't be forced out or have a 20, 30% increase in the future if the market does what it's doing again right now today? So all things to consider, might be right for you to rent, might be right for you to buy. Feel free to reach out and talk about it more for you guys. Take care.